On September 29, military actions provoked by Azerbaijan on the entire line of contact with Nagorno-Karabakh continued with even more intensity. Early morning, the representative of the Defense Ministry of the Republic of Armenia, Artrun Hovanisyan, made an announcement stating, The enemy started a strong artillery preparation. They are preparing for the next attack. Press Secretary of the Ministry of Defense of the Republic of Armenia, Shushan Stepanyan, stated, Starting from early morning of September 29, the Azerbaijani site has resumed large-scale military operations along almost the entire defensive line of the Artsakh Defense Army. The spokesperson added that the enemy started using heavy military systems, which changes both the logic and the scope of hostilities, taking it to a whole new level. Press Secretary added, the Ministry of Defense warns that the Armenian armed forces are forced to use a number of weapons and military equipment with a great impact on the destruction of large-scale movable and immovable property. Shortly after, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Armenia made a statement regarding misinformation spread by Azerbaijani Ministry of Defense. According to the fake news spread by Azerbaijani authorities, Armenian side was shelling Tashkesan, a region of Azerbaijan. Armenian Ministry of Foreign Affairs denied the news by adding, The enemy is preparing proper ground in order to justify its future actions. Immediately after the Armenian response, the Azerbaijani Armed Forces opened fire on Vartenis military unit of the Armenian Armed Forces, as well as used air force in the direction of the positions. The attack resulted in death of one civilian. As a result of Azerbaijani airstrikes, a civilian bus also got on fire. Fortunately, the targeted vehicle was passenger-free. Later, Lilith Makunz head of the ruling faction in the National Assembly of Armenia, shared an announcement informing that in the current situation, a possibility of signing a military-political alliance with Artsakh is being actively discussed. Artsakh! 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 At the same time, Armenians living in Glendale, California, gathered in front of Glendale City Hall to show their support for soldiers in the Artsakh war. Human rights defender of the Republic of Artsakh, Artak Beglarian, shared an announcement stating that three civilians were killed as a result of Azerbaijani shelling in Martuni, Adrut, and Martakert. Shortly after, the press secretary of Azerbaijan's Ministry of Defense shared an announcement stating that due to Azerbaijani army bombing, the Martuni military unit was completely disbanded. Immediately, the Minister of Defense of Artsakh denied the information by saying that the news was fake and did not correspond to reality. At 1 p.m., Azerbaijani side started bombing villages of Vartenis, situated on the territory of the Republic of Armenia. Shushan Stepanyan, press secretary of Ministry of Defense of Armenia, using a hashtag #WeWillWin, stated, "The Azerbaijani side is attempting attacks using artillery, unmanned aerial vehicles, and armored forces." According to constantly updating data, as a result of Armenian counterstroke, the enemy lost 11 unmanned aerial vehicles, one engineering armor, four armor carriers, and five tanks. The enemy also has a large loss of manpower. Shortly after, Monte Melkonian Cyber Army declared about hacking and leaking a huge amount of information from Azerbaijani government emails. According to the announcement, the obtained documents directly prove that a number of Azerbaijani websites and social media sites are funded and managed by the government of Azerbaijan. According to the recent data, Armenian site lost 84 servicemen as a result of Azerbaijani aggression.